Yeah, hi Adam, it's uh, Dale speaking. Thank you very much for sending through your video. I've had a look at it and I see that you play seniors and prems and uh, I think you're under a very good coach with Gary McDonald who will be keeping an eye on you. I'm pretty sure about that. Just have a look at, uh, see what you've got here. Um, we'll put it in slow motion. So this is the view from behind. Here you come in a minute. So the first thing I noticed there, uh, from behind, you have a very high gather hand, but the good thing about it is that you bring it into a very good position on, on the way down. So, good thing there is that uh, you've got the ability to swing the ball. There's some fairly obvious things there with, that we can work on as we go through. Let's have a look at this one here. I'm going to take it through a little bit slower. Your hands and your run up are beautiful. It's a very nice running style. You're nicely balanced. There's that high gather that we're talking about, but you come down into a very nice position there. The exchange of the arms is excellent. Back foot landing looks about 45 degrees, and then when you get to weight on it, it comes around to about 60 degrees. Up until this stage, everything's looking absolutely beautiful. But now we start seeing a few little issues starting to arise. And this is the one that really does concern me. That's what the point of delivery, and I'll see if we can get this to sort of show you what's happening there. You can see there that there is quite quite a bend, and uh, ideally, the more upright you are, the more chance of uh, you're going to avoid injury and also to get your wrist behind the ball. So we'll carry that on for a bit. Excellent follow through, very strong knee drive on your back foot, uh, and very balanced after, after being unbalanced there at the point of delivery. Let's just carry the video on a bit and see what's happening. Once again, just look at the direction of your run up at the moment, a little bit wide, just want to be start coming in towards the crease a little bit with your takeoff step, you come across and that may be contributing a little bit to that falling away. So if you can line your feet up um, from the start of your run up through to your delivery, that might help to avoid that falling away. Let's check that out again. Just going to stop that for a minute and we're just going to put a line. That would be if you continued in the same direction. Let's just see where you actually go. See how you come across there? And there may be a little bit of an issue of uh, running on the track. An umpire might ask you to move a little bit wider. Just stop that for a moment and get rid of that. Let's see how things look from side on. Right, but this, this is really an excellent one. I think your running style is excellent. There's that strong gather. There's a little bit of rock back, which is fine. Uh, and there we go. Back foot landing, you see it's about 45 degrees to being 90 degrees straight, uh, zero degrees straight ahead, 90 degrees being the crease. About 45 inch, but weight on, you come around to about 60 degrees. And this is where we can see that back leg is bending a bit. And because of that, you get quite a long put it down through quite a long reach there which can make it a little bit difficult getting over your front foot lock up is excellent and then that knee drive through the crease outstanding and fantastic follow through so if I was summarizing I think the the key things here uh, are going to be your uh, head position at the point of release and I think if you can keep your head as up as high as you can keeping your eyes level and drive your head more towards the target uh, that, that will keep you more upright and perhaps if you can just maybe shorten that delivery stride just slightly and see how that feels that, that gives you the uh, pace through the crease alright so that's looking pretty good I think if you go to the videos and have a look at uh, the delivery action and just keep a, the, the key things there are eyes level and balance so I wish you well with that. It's one of those issues that could take uh, quite a bit of time to model, and uh, the winter months are the ideal time to start that. So all the best with that.